our last step is kind of to make this wearable as a partial cosmetic prosthetic. And to do that, we need to hollow this model out. To hollow it out, I'm going to go to Edit in Mesh Mixer, and I'm going to go to Hollow. It's going to do some calculations for us. And it's going to kind of figure out uh, and show us a view of what this model will look like when it's hollowed out. So we kind of have this ghost-like structure. And anything that's in white, uh, really darker white, that's going to be what's uh, hollowed out. And anything that's kind of this ghosty kind of, of view, that's going to be the, the shell that kind of surrounds your model. Offset distance of 2 millimeters uh, seems to be the default. Uh, you can go smaller than this. Uh, I've seen some success with going with about 1.2, which assures that my Ninja Flex is uh, thin enough that it's going to be flexible enough that my recipient can get it onto his hand. You can do this uh, number... Um, about 1.2 is the smallest I would go. You want to try to make it a multiple of the nozzle size of your actual printer, something that you can uh, look up. Uh, so we're going to accept that. And now I've got a hollowed out model. And then the final step is going to be to slice off the bottom of this and align it to my plate. And we'll show you why we're going to slice off the bottom. If I click on plane cut, that's going to give me a view of what everything looks like. Anything that's above this plane that's kind of in the regular white kind of color, that's going to be uh, stuff that's left over after you cut your plane. Anything that's beneath this plane, anything that's kind of in this ghosty kind of uh, view, that's going to be stuff that's going to be sliced out of your model. And I can use these same controls that I had before for orienting myself, my object. Uh, and I can kind of drag this plane up and down left and right, or uh, rotate it around. And this big fat arrow, if I click that one, that changes the direction of where I'm going to slice. So I can slice the upper part of the hand or the bottom part of the hand. So I'm going to kind of reposition this, and kind of drag it down. And what I'm going to do is zoom in so we can really see why I'm doing this. So anywhere where you see yellow, that's the hollow portion. And anything that's white, is actually the solid. So when we hollowed this out, it hollowed out all uh, the model across all, all dimensions. So the bottom wasn't actually sliced off. But we want to slice that bottom off because that's what we're going to print on, and we want that bottom part to be hollow because that's where your recipient's uh, hand is going to try to get into this, um, this print. So we can position ourselves nicely. And once we're happy with our positioning, we can click Accept. And it's going to slice off all of that. So we can zoom in a good bit. And we can kind of zoom in. And we can see that the inside of this model is now hollow. Now all we want to do now is align this to our print bed. We can accept that. And we should be ready to go. Apparently, I just need a bigger printer, as this wouldn't print on my printer bot metal symbol. Now to actually print this, I would go to export, and I would save it as a file. As an STL, and once you're saved, you can then load that into your slicer of choice, and you can print a partial prosthetic hand uh, in a cosmetic format.